to Medical Dialogues Journal Club. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and as you all know, previously we have spoken to many doctors about various interesting cases. Today, yet again, I am going to talk about a complicated trauma case that was saved at Sir Gangaram Hospital. Face crushed, jaws dislocated, 16 facial fractures, skull open, tongue cut into two pieces and fully torn lips. Horrific. The Department of Plastic and Cosmetic Surgery at Sir Gangaram Hospital received a 20-year-old patient, Samir, from Delhi. He had suffered a major road traffic accident while driving a bike. Seeing the complexity of the case, a joint team of 10 doctors consisting of plastic and cosmetic surgeons and neurosurgeons was formed. The patient was immediately resuscitated and airway was rescued as a life-saving measure. The patient had severe soft tissue injuries on the face and multiple fractures to the extent that the facial bones were even crushed and converted to small pieces. So to talk to us in detail about this complicated trauma case, we have with us on board today Dr. Bheem Singh Nanda, a senior consultant at the Department of Plastic and Cosmetic Surgery at Sir Gangaram Hospital, New Delhi. So firstly, if you can explain about the details of this case. He was he is a he is a twenty year old uh, boy who was working with IT professional. So he, they were basically going on the bike and they were hit by a vehicle. So he was wearing a helmet also. I think he was, he was not wearing a full helmet, but he was wearing a prop a helmet. So his helmet also got broken. So that was the intensity of the trauma basically. And uh, so he had a pan facial uh, injury with fracture of most of the bones of the face. Or uh, then uh, basically he had a severe soft tissue injury, lower lip was fully torn, like fully degloved from the mandible. The mandible was in four pieces, His bi bilateral maxilla were broken, bilateral orbit had fractures, zygoma was displaced, bilateral temporal mandible joint were totally dislocated. If you, see, if, you see, if you have a photo of a CT scan, you can see that the left side condyle has just gone below the zygomatic arch and gone into the fossa basically. Na? Yes, That's yes. what the severity, severity of the trauma basically. Na? If you see the left side, na, to, the condyle is going below the arch and going up basically. Na? It's so much dislocated. Both the joints are also broken. So we had to like, uh, he have, he was having breathing difficulty also. So for most we secured his airway basically. We did a track for the patient. Track of was done for the patient. This is as a life-saving measure. Then the, we took, did the routine CT scans to rule out the head injury, he had a concussion injury, his GCS was almost 13 by 15, then became 15 by 15, but he had a concussion injury. And uh, he had a severe facial injury, like soft tissue injury, was pretty, his nose was torn, upper lip was torn, there were multiple deep CWs, the one going inside the nostril, his lip was bifid, bifid in the sense that his lip was longitudinally split. Yeah, what you see from tip of the tongue till uh, the anterior, anterior tooth of the tongue was totally split in two basically. So he had a very bad injury basically. So we planned the case step by step, uh, reconstructed the soft tissue, then we did a bony fixation to the patient, relocated all the TM joints, his uh, temporal IMF intermedial fixation was done for the patient and step, step by all the fractures were fixed. So in the post-operative period only patient was quite comfortable. As okay. we did all fixations, so we were able to release IMF so that he can uh, take the liquid head basically. Na? So he has a track, but he is able, able to communicate while writing. He can write on the paper and he is conscious or oriented, fully oriented now. Still yeah. edema has decreased. He is pretty like looking as uh, like before I, for, for, what is the, uh, their parents are claiming. Na? So parents oh. are also happy actually. So he will have time like his recovery will like because the joints are also uh, damaged. Na? So he may, may require three, four months for complete uh, rehabilitation. Na? Otherwise, mm -hmm. so at present he is able to open his mouth, close his mouth. Occlusion is very good. Occlusion is pretty fine. Right. So what were the challenges that was actually faced by you and your team during the surgery, sir? Uh, so during the surgical process, what were the challenges that were actually faced by your you and your team? Challenges, as I told you, so actually we had multiple factors. Huh? So we need some some anatomical uh, uh, like uh, to so that we can follow that and make his uh, arch like maxillary arch and mandible arch have to be maintained. Huh? We have to maintain the uh, profile again. So his uh, stable segments were like uh, we started from up basically frontal zygomatic area. We stabilized each and every fracture like uh, what you say is jigsaw puzzle. Huh? We kept on solving. Then we reduced the TM joint. Uh, brought the mandible in occlusion basically. Then we reduced the mandible also. Then uh, after putting applying the arch bar, we brought the patient in occlusion and reduced the arch of the maxilla basically. We have an instrument called Hitler Williamson. With that uh, we reduced the 
arch of the maxilla on the mart arch of the maxilla we made the arch of the mandible because mandible had was in of both the joints were affected and there were three factors in the mandible na? all were three segments basically Okay, so on okay. the basis of maxilla we reconstructed the mandible uh, mandible arch and then we fixed it with the rigid uh, with uh, we use uh, like uh, pure titanium pure t- titanium mri compatible implant na johnson johnson or we use in this case we use synthesis johnson johnson implant so mm-hmm. with that implant we fixed the mandible maxilla was fixed then most of the all, almost all the fixtures which required fixation were fixed and then then we started with the soft tissue basically then we reconstructed the whole the soft tissue all the lips tongue everything was sutured sutured layers multiple layers after giving wash and we we gave a very good wash and everything so that it it should not develop infection and lastly if you can just tell us what do you think will be the prognosis of this complicated trauma case prognosis is pretty good as i told you he is now able to open his mouth only concern of mine is because his uh, left side tm joint must have got disrupted quite a lot because we have reduced it brought it in anatomical position but his joint capsule and everything that that must have got torn then only is condyza displays or so much above let us see he might develop uh, arthritis of the left uh, joint uh, tm joint this is occlusion and everything vision vision wise his vision is absolute 6 by 6 extra okay. movements are normal he has now he has no exophthalmos or anophthalmos previously he was having exophthalmos of the left eye now after surgery he is absolutely fine eyes are at place no diplopia Mm-hmm. Extra ocular movements are normal. Everything is normal basically, na. So prognosis is very good actually. If you ask me, so he is having concussion, but GCS is 15 or 15. So head injury is also very big uh, prognostic factor. So he doesn't have that severe head injury also. So I think uh, he should he should do well. Again, go back to his work and start working. Thank you so much for your valuable time. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.